At Beauty Co., you can have it all. Be beautiful every day, the Beauty Co. way. Come to Beauty Co. today. Welcome back to the program. I hope our viewers at home enjoyed these advertisements from our fine, fine sponsors. Now, if you're just tuning in, I'm interviewing arguably one of the best artists in the world, Jake Olson. How you doing there, Jake? Hey, Milton. Thanks for having me. I just wanted to clarify, like I said before the commercial break, I'm definitely not one of the world's most famous artists. Nonsense. Don't be so hard on yourself. Look at this painting. Every brushstroke Makes me want to weep at your feet, but I won't. I won't. I'm a professional. But I must say, Jake, you're one of the top five artists in the world. Shall we ask the audience? Audience, what do you think of Jake's painting? Thank you all. Thank you for saying that. Maybe I am one of the world's most famous artists. <laughs> you wouldn't be a guest on my show if you weren't, Jake. Most people know you as Puppy Teeth. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty out there, wacky kind of name, isn't it? Now, can you tell us a little bit about that? Like, where did that name come from? Well, uh, as my fans know, I love going to garage sales and flea markets, junk stores. I love sifting through piles of paper. I use a lot of that stuff in my work. I have filing cabinets full of it in my studio. Mm -hmm. So I was in this junk store in Oregon, mm. and in the back of the store, there was this shelf with these comic books on it, with an inch of dust on it. No one had touched it in a really long time. So I'm looking through these comic books, and there was one from the 40s called Puppy Teeth Comics. Mm. And I was like, what the hell is this about? Fascinating. I was looking through it, and it turns out in the 1940s and 50s, there was this clown character named Pop Puppy Teeth. He was kind of like a howdy doody. He had lunch boxes, comic books, mm. TV shows. So, this name Puppy Teeth, I just felt this intense magnetism. I just wanted to adopt it into my work somehow. Wow. Kind of like a religious experience. Yeah, yeah, it was otherworldly. It and I were just kind of on the same wavelength. So I adopted the name Puppy Teeth, founded Puppy Teeth Studios, and took on the moniker of Jake Puppy Teeth as kind of an homage to it. Hmm. The world sort of forgot about this pop Puppy Teeth, didn't they? Audience. A round of applause if you remember Pop Puppy Teeth. Yeah, well, there wasn't really much of his memorabilia that survived. It was all such low quality that there's nothing really left of it. Actually, I read this newspaper article from the 1950s, and there was this one doll he made that gave a whole town cancer. Forgotten to time. Sadly, it's the fate of many icons of popular culture. It's really quite poetic how you took the name and breathed some new life into it. Now, was there any backlash? Any pesky copyright disputes? No. I mean, everything would be in the public domain by now. And Pop himself probably died in obscurity in the 1970s in some nursing home. What if I told you that we have a very, very special guest with us today? I saw there was an extra chair here, Milton. Who is it? My mom? What if I told you that my producers found Pop Puppy Teeth and he's agreed to come? That's impossible. He would be like 150 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pop Puppy Teeth to the stage. Now everybody, please settle down. Settle down. Control yourselves. Puppy Teeth, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Milton. It's been a while since I've been on TV. Now, Pop, let me get this straight. How old are you? My producers were sure surprised that you were still alive. Milton, Milton, don't you know it's rude to ask a lady her age? Besides, I'm only here to confront this loser sitting next to me, this, this charlatan, this identity thief. I, I didn't steal your identity. No one even remembers who you are. 
Oh, no one knows who I am! That's ridiculous! I got a fan letter just last week from a collections agency. You know what you are? You're a vampire. You stole my name and sucked out my life force. I've seen some evil people in my life, but you take the cake. Well, Jake, now that you know Pup Puppy Teeth still exists, are you gonna change your whole moniker? Your whole brand? Oh, he's gonna change it. I don't know. I need to weigh my legal options. I have to consult with my legal team. Oh, he's gonna change it. What an exclusive. One of the world's most famous artists catapulted into scandal right here on the Milton Holly program. You set me up. I just came here to promote my new paintings, not to get embroiled in some scandal with a freak show who refused to die. I'll have you know, I did some pretty despicable things with some very dark powers to be blessed with an unnaturally long lifespan. Things so gory and so reprehensible that it's going to be nothing to rub out a little parasite like you. Did you say rub out? Yes, I did. I had a feeling this Jake character wouldn't see things my way, and that's why I brought this little number with me. I'm back, baby!